Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. That is a question we have October, October 2021, and variant we have 12. And question number 12, we can see in the top. Okay, let's start. First of all, he given us here, equation of circle is given by him. And second number, P is given by him. I'm writing here 5, 4. Okay. And uh, tangent to the P, meet X axis at A. And all students know it that at A, 100% Y equal to 0. And at B, for sure, X is equals to 0. This is called X intercept. This is called Y intercept. And all of you are familiar with that. Okay, uh, find the area of the triangle OAB. Which triangle I talk, he talk about? He talk about this triangle. And that is only possible if I have a coordinate, then I can get easily this distance. If I have a B coordinate, I can get this distance easily. And then I use a half into base into height to get the answer. But first of all, I am bound to get equation of the tangent. So let's start. So first of all, can I find directly equation of tangent? No way. I can't find it. I have only choice if I have a center. Center is compulsory to get it. So let's try to find center. And all students know it. This I give, I give a name as our equation number one. And second equation, x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to zero equation number two. And if you compare both equations, students, so compare both equations. So what I get it. 2g is equal to negative 6. And I get that g becomes negative 3. Okay. All right. 2f is equal to 4. 2f is equal to 4. And f becomes 2. Although he's not asking us the radius, but I'm finding maybe in future, or I think we have, you need it. Okay. Anyway, radius formula, all of you know, f square plus g square minus c. Uh, f square become 4 is a very clear and g squared 3 become 9, and minus, minus c is minus 27. So if I write a minus 27, so I get what? 9 plus 4, 13. 13 and, um, uh, 13 and uh, this 27, it becomes 40. 40 root is what? For your knowledge, 40, 4 tens of 40. So if I take a root of this, root of 4 is 2, so 2 root 10 is coming here. All you can type in calculator and get the radius directly. So center, student, all of you know, by, by the logical formula is minus G and minus F. So this sign will change due to this problem, this sign, I mean technique, and these two will go there. This is a radius, so, so center, sorry. So three minus two, I got easily. And for your knowledge, this is a radius. And this is 90 degree, all of you know it. All right, so first of all, I'm finding a gradient. So five, four, uh, so five, four also there. Five, four, P, four. Let me recheck, five, four. So what is gradient of uh, CP? So Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. I got a six, I got a two, and I got a three gradient. So CP gradient, that I mean, radius is a three, and this become negative negative reciprocal. Now, interesting part, one minute, please. <clears throat> so we are finding now, uh, because I got a free grade for this line student, I'm looking for this. And I said before, negative reciprocal, how? For example, this is three, and three has nothing under it, it means one. So it one goes up, three comes down, and here plus, so here become minus. So gradient of the tangent becomes negative one over three. And I must use P coordinate. So formula, all of you familiar? This is a formula of finding equation of the line. Y1 is four, M is minus one over three, and X1 is five. And again, three will multiply there. Three Y, three fours are 12, minus X plus five. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I got equation of tangent very easily. And now, <clears throat> so if you plug in, okay, three Y is equals to negative X plus 17. Now, interesting part, how to get this A coordinate? I will plug in Y zero. So it means Y zero, okay, I will plug in for A. I'm writing for A, I'm writing here for A, I will plug in Y zero. When I plug in Y zero here, it gone. So this becomes zero. 
X will come here, so X value is 17. So I can say that the X value is 17. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, this distance from O to A is 17. It is a clear. Or I make this triangle here. This is 17 I got from here till here. Let's talk about this. For this reason, I will plug in X0. So for B, I will plug in X0. When I plug in X0 here, students, so 3 will go down 17 by 3. So the, it means I get 17 by 3. So y is equal to 17 by 3. So in short story, this distance is 17 by 3 from here till here. So I believe all people understanding. And now I'm finding area of triangle formula. And what is the area of triangle formula? So half into base into height. And base is 17 and height is 17 by 3. And ultimately, if I multiply 17 times through 17 and divide it by 6, so answer, answer is coming 289 by 6. Okay, or in, in decimal form, let me check the exact thing asking. Uh, no, he did not mention exact. So we can write in 3SF 48.166666. So it becomes 48.2. Uh, okay, this is my answer. So I think idea is very, very clear. And let's go for the next part. And he mentioned what here? Q and R lies in circles such that is an equilateral triangle. So it means this triangle is, in, okay, I'm going to make it uh, this circle and we have an equilateral triangle. So let's start. I'm going to make this circle here. And hold on. I have this, I have this, and I have this. And all students know 60, 60, 60. But for your knowledge, this is center of circle C for center. And I'm going to join this here, this here, and this here. So in short story, I have three triangles. I'm going to find, first of all, because it's full angle 60, but there's a 30, there's a 30, there's a 30, and there's a 30. Every angle is 30. In this sense, I get, I will get it. But hold on, I got the radius 2 root 10. So in this sense, I, I will get this triangle separate. I'm going to make it. Look, students, I'm going to make it this triangle separate. And for your knowledge, you ask me, sir, what is this one? 2 root 10 here, 2 root 10 here. And this is a 30 degree. This is a 30 degree. You want to find this middle angle. And that is so simple to get it. So. I call alpha. Alpha is equal to 180 minus 30 and minus 30. I get 120. And now I can find it. So what is a rule area of triangles? Area of triangle PQR. Wait a minute. PQR. So PQ is here. R is here. It's a very clear uh, area of the triangle. So what is the formula? Half into base. Sorry. Half AB sine theta and into 3. You ask why, sir? Y into three, because we have one triangle, second triangle, third triangle, all are equal. So this triangle area, I get it from here. So half times two, this A value is two root 10. And this B value is two root 10 once again. And alpha is 120 and into three. And final answer, and I'm getting it in the calculator. So this two to cancel out, okay? And I am typing sine 120. Okay, and I get it <clears throat> 30 root 3. So it is a, a let me check one once again. I check one thing. Uh, did he mention any units here? One minute, let me see. Let me see. Not mentioned. If not mentioned, then write unit square. Okay, so I hope so. The point is very, very 